Hey guys, my name is Devin VP. I'm a photographer and tech enthusiast. I recently decided that I was sick and tired of my current tech bag, my laptop bag, and I'm currently on the search for something better, preferably something that can hold a water bottle on the side and hold just in general more stuff on the inside and maybe a little more quality. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I thought might as well show what's in my tech bag currently. So yeah, we're gonna be figuring out what's in what's in my tech bag. Be sure to check the description below for any items or cool things that you might like. So first up is the bag, of course, and what I got here is actually a Soko Messenger slash bippity boppity backpack tech bag. And what drew me to this bag was the fact that it had the colors that I love, which was that kind of gray neutral tone along with pops of blue, and I love that. Additionally, this thing actually transforms into a messenger bag. By transform, I mean you put a strap on it. The way it opens from the side just isn't quite practical, so I actually ended up never really using it as a messenger bag. So I actually did a full video review on this bag. If you'd like to check that out, be sure to do that in my channel. Um, I might link it somewhere. Let's say, let's say I link it below. Yeah, let's, let's do that right off the bat. It's, it's in the description below. I've committed myself to taking the time to find that video and linking it down below. All right, so let's start off with these exterior pockets. We gotta start small. Right here, I always keep all of my small, all my pens and pencils. <laughs> this is a this is a terrible way, terrible way to start this video, but I, I have to talk about this pencil. Everything here is a pen. I got four pens right here, black and blue, but I am definitely a pencil guy. It's actually called the Twist Erase by Pentel. It is by far my favorite pencil. You got this dippity dope, look at that. It's a little bit on the expensive side for a mechanical pencil, but it is so worth it. I've never had one break on me. The only time that I had to get a replacement is if I lost one, which has happened. And each time I went into a depression until I got my next one. You'll notice that these, uh, these pockets here are, uh, they look almost modular. They kind of stick out. It gives a really cool modular look to it. Um, and I, I like that. It, it actually added a little more to the, uh, the the packing my ability to pack things in there because I don't need to push it outward it's already a bit convex it already has that convex uh, build to it so I, I don't have to try to force room in there I just have a power brick I have three micro USB cables right here another Pentel twist erase mechanical pencil just just in case and some super old school Beats by Dre. I actually got these, and if any of you guys are a tech enthusiast, you might remember uh, the HTC Droid Resound. They actually did a promo where you get these for free with that. These were $100, and then I got a deal on the Resound where it was $100. So I got a flagship phone and $100 earphones all for $100, and it was like, oh my god, it was a great deal. So that was fantastic, and they're still good. I mean, I just keep them around just in case, you know, I don't have anything else or someone else wants to borrow some. I, that's another thing you'll see in this bag. I like to be helpful and handy to the people around me. Little slot right here, we have my Seagate 2 terabyte hard drive. It's super slim. It is a hard drive, a disk drive. It's not an SSD, unfortunately. Um, I'm not about to drop $800 on an external hard drive just anytime soon, okay? I, I just don't. I'm, I'm cool with this for now. Um, so this thing, this thing's great. I actually have a little piece of Command Velcro on here. Uh, you'll see what that is about soon. All right, so we're getting to some bigger items right here. I have my Logitech MX Master. Yeah, of course, you guys have heard of this thing. It is super popular um, and it, with good reason. It's, of course, it's no gaming mouse. A lot of people give it, you know, give it grief due to the fact that, oh, and, it doesn't have DPI settings. It, it only has a few programmable buttons. How am I supposed to quickly set my, 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 my health potions and my spaghetti buttons all in, in one? It's super comfortable. I've had it for uh, a little over a year now, back when it was like $110. And I think it's all the way down to like 60-ish, 70 around there, maybe even less now. Um, so uh, it, this thing has held up 
greatly. And like, uh, they have a MX Anywhere, which is supposed to be the portable version of the mouse, but even then, I just, I, I don't, it has programmable buttons right here, so that you can set it to just press this button right here. Let me turn it on. Press this button right there, and you might see right there the lights popping up. One, two, and three for computer one, laptop two, laptop three, something like that, you know. Um, and so I was like, why would I just keep it at, at home if, if uh, you know, if it has those features, I want to use it for my laptop when I'm on the go, that type of thing. So, and this this thing is well built, so I haven't had any issues with it. And I just so I just throw it in there, honestly. All right, next up, we have a Ghost Tech Sodrop, is what they're called, headphones, over ear headphones. They were a great price, and they had some of the most amazing reviews on Amazon. I'm dead serious. They had literally a 5.0 straight, hundred reviews on Amazon unheard of and it was around a hundred dollars they've actually come out with a second generation that is still much cheaper than um, what I bought this for back when this was generally new they look a lot better and they have a lot more color options back then they only had gray of these these sound great I am definitely no audiophile um, I'll put that you know I'll, I'll, I'll put that out there uh, but they they do sound great I'm very impressed they use Bluetooth 4.0 totally wireless um, it actually comes with a pretty nice looking hard case I don't bring the hard case along just because it just takes up a lot of room in my bag and this thing will get you about 14 hours use that's pretty great if you're a heavy user have it up really loud um, probably around 11 hours. They bounced 14 hours on the Bippity website. All right, next up, this is actually a favorite of mine. This is the UE Roll 2. I was actually going out trying to search for the perfect Bluetooth speaker for me. I wanted something that was non-directional. I wanted something with a little bit of surround sound. I um, wanted something generally tough. Doesn't need to be rugged tough, but also has to be water resistant and take be able to take a few punches. And um, I found, and ideally something that would connect to a different speaker. Um, I found out that this actually does that, and I love the little bungee cord that it has in the back right here. This is awesome because I really like going in outdoors and I like biking. The main reason was for my bike, and I go ahead and strap this on the front bars right there when I'm going out with my friend who um, also bought a second one. She'll go ahead and strap hers onto her bike, and then we can go ahead and connect both the speakers, we have kind of a surround sound, dual speaker, one on each of our bikes as we ride down, which is really awesome. This thing has also really great volume. I got a little mouse mat. I'm the kind of guy who will bring a large mouse and a mouse pad to a coffee shop and a tiny little table to do some work. Okay, next up is my little tech survival thing. We'll call it that. And that is on a Gridit right here. This is by Cocoon. Cocoon? 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 Cocoon. Let's, I think it's pronounced that. It's called a Gridit and basically it's just a big old little board of elastic rubberized bands. Um, they're all just last bands with rubberized texture to it, so we go ahead, go ahead and grip onto pretty much anything, and you can just put everything in there. So that way, you know, you don't have like a big old pile of cables and stuff in your bag. You want to pull this out, and there you go. Right in here, I have myself. Uh, I got, I got a, I got a USB extender. I've got a USB Type B Mini. I've got a 3.5 millimeter aux cord. Uh, 3.5 3 millimeter aux cord extender. I have, what is this? I have, I have another USB cable. Um, I actually have Power Bank by Zag. It has 6,000 milliamps capacity. Uh, charges quite quickly and it's pretty small. I like it. It's just really lightweight. I think it's something that can, can easily fit in someone's pocket if they want to. Shut the fuck up. I like having it around. It's one of those stupid ones that has a flashlight, which I think is just dumb. I don't, I don't know why this is a trend. I also have a super beat up deck of cards, uh, a a a 3.5 millimeter jack to 2.5. I think it's, 
I think it is the small one, the big one or the small one. And of course, zip ties, gotta get them zip ties. I, I've, there's been a lot of scenarios that I've been in that I, I just wish I had a zip tie. Uh, so, there's, there's that. Okay, I'm gonna get this one out of the way. Hydro flask is actually inside my bag because this dumb bag doesn't have a bottle holder on the outside, which is frustrating. Held me. I like to keep water with me at all times. Hydro flask is awesome. Keeps it warm. Keeps it cold. If I want to, I can put tea in there. I can put coffee in there. I can put water in there. Whoa! You know? And it says it naturally. Check this out. Check this out. Woo! I don't know if you can see with the light, but this one's actually engraved. It was a gift from my sister. Pretty cool, engraved my business name on there, which is pretty dope. All right, now for the large power bank, and this one is by Rav Power. So this one is a 22,000 milliamps uh, storage right here, and it comes with three 2.4 amp ports right here, and they're actually iSmart. So if you have something that's compatible, a device that's compatible to a smart charging technology, there's a lot of different names for that, but they all do the same thing. Basically, it's able to tell the speed at which your device should be charged. It comes with this nice, really nice, soft, cushiony mesh pouch. I really like this. Um, I just like squeezing it. Acre makes one very similar to this at a similar price point. That's 20,000 milliamps per hour. Uh, capacity. This one is 2200 for the same price point. That's why I actually got this one. I recommend you check this one out. I would also recommend that you don't get the white. White just shows the minuscule amount of dirt and makes it, makes it look like a lot. So I don't even bring this out too much. I usually just keep it in here. Somehow it finds a way to get dirty. I have no idea why. Get the black one. Next up is a little inspiration. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, if you're creative or you got you got a passion or something that you need to stay motivated, you're gonna need a little bit of inspiration. And uh, I actually got uh, this on Amazon, which is a really awesome book um, written by George Lewis, who is a very famous marketeer. 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 Just little little stories about his past and you know his experiences working in other uh, other businesses and really cool quotes and advice and it's basically yeah, damn good advice for people with talent six eight dollars on amazon read a few of his little stories and it's going to get you motivated trust me next up is something a little different not something you commonly see in tech bags and that is the notebook this is the by staples arc notebook system and it's super modular. Not only can you change the cover to, I don't know, something more plasticky, something more pretty, something more dark, um, but if a lot of options on the inside for your paper, you actually have a few different options of the kind of paper notes I can do. Just very simple notebook line paper. Um, you have these smaller ones you can fit in there and they're all removable. Now you think that I just ripped that out. That's not the case. I can pop this right back in. Just like that. Bam. Just like that. That is freaking amazing. The reason that you might, you know, on the surface, like, eh, eh, but really what's going to happen here is like, say I want to go ahead and work on a project. Okay, I want to list a bunch of hot video ideas for my YouTube channel to get it popping. And so I'm going to go ahead and jot that down and that gets pushed to the back. Like basically, I, I'm, I'm not working on that. I need to focus on my real estate photography part of my business or something like that. So I was like, all right, well, this one's, you know, I'm not really worrying about this anymore. I go ahead, take it off put in the back, put my real estate list on the top or something like that. Okay, now I've gone through all the paper right now and say I've done all these these ideas in my hot video idea list. And um, it's like, well, why there's no reason to have this in here anymore. I can just take it out, dispose of it, and put in more paper. Just like that, super simple. Okay, last but not least, of course, is my laptop. Now, I'm not really using anything special at the moment. It's a Dell Inspirion, Inspirion? Inspiron. Dell Inspiron. 15 7000 series, but I just wanted to show you guys a little something Not that it's like a small table where I don't have too much room at a coffee shop or something like that I plug in my hard drive that I want to do work on and I can go ahead with the Vel command velcro strips And I'll link them down below too. I would just whoops Pop that on right there. Look at that So that's awesome try that it's really, they also have black ones in case you, the white is too obvious and too out there, something like that. So um, it's, it's a pretty cool idea. 
I thought of it myself. Credit to MVP Photography. Credit my, my video channel. All right, that's it, guys. Um, so, like I said in the beginning, let me know if you have any suggestions for a bag, a tech bag, laptop bag that you would recommend to me. Um, I don't think this has enough space for what I want to do, and I definitely want a bottle holder on the side. So please, if you have any ideas, drop it below. Doesn't matter if it's a bad idea, doesn't matter if it's a funny idea. I like jokes. So go ahead in the comments below, let me know. Also, let me know if you have any questions on any of these items here. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I possibly can. And if there's anything you're interested in purchasing here, links are down below, including the command strip and that pencil. If you like what you saw, definitely give me a like. Let me know in the comments below. Again, please, these comments are really important now. Please leave me a comment, anything. Let me know what you think of the shirt or my hair. Tell me I look ugly. I, that, I'm okay with that. As long as you comment, please, please comment below. Just like George Lewis always said, if all else fails, threaten to commit suicide. That is literally something that he says in this book. Do you like songs? What's your favorite kind of song? Do you like pizza? What's up? What's your name? Do you like techno? I like techno. Do you like pizza?